One of the good things about cameras that take CF Express Type B cards is that Type B cards tend to be much cheaper than the equivalent Type A cards. But if you go the DIY route, you can make your own CF Express Type B card even cheaper. For example, my 2TB card only cost me about $110. Compare that to Sony's 2TB CF Express Type A card, which sells for around $1,400 or even Angelbird's 2TB Type-B card, which sells for around $800. Now while I've not had any trouble with my DIY card, I can't guarantee you'll have the same experience, so I'm not recommending the actual sellers or parts that I used, I'm just letting you know what I used. To make a DIY CF Express Type-B card, all you need is a M.2 2230 size NVMe drive, and an M.2 to Type-B CF Express adapter. For the drive, I used a Western Digital SN740 2TB drive from the AliExpress seller Global SSD Top Store. The price of the drive varies a bit, but you should be able to pick it up for around $90 to $100. And for the CF Express adapter, I used one from the AliExpress seller NKU Official Store. This cost about $9. The model appears to be PH461 but this isn't mentioned in the listing at all. You get the CF Express card adapter in front and back pieces, plus some stickers so you can label the card with the correct capacity. I didn't use the stickers as I don't have multiple of these cards in different sizes, so I know all my cards are two terabytes without any sticker. You fit the M2 drive in the adapter. And then you stick the metal cover on top. This has a piece of sticky tape on it to keep it stuck down, but it just appears to be standard double-sided tape and not any special thermally conductive tape. Once the metal cover is attached. I'm not sure if it's possible to remove it again, at least in a non-destructive way. With the Canon R5, which is the only camera I've tested with, you can use the adapter in the camera without the cover attached. However, I can't use it with my CF Express card reader without the card being fully assembled. The reason for not wanting to seal the M2 drive inside the adapter is that then you can easily take it out and use it for something else if like putting it in a Steam Deck or using it in a caddy to connect to your computer for external storage. To be able to use the card with your camera you'll first need to format it using the XFAT format on a computer. Once that's done the camera should then be able to see the card. I'm not sure why but at least with the Canon R5 if you don't format the card to XFAT on a computer first the camera can't format the card itself, but this only needs to be done once for the initial setup. Once it's in XFAT format, you can then format the card in the camera, no problem. In terms of speed, the WD-SN740 is rated for sequential read speeds up to 5150 megabytes per second and write speeds up to 4850 megabytes per second. I don't know what the CF Express adapter that I bought is rated to, but it does say PCIe 4 in the product name, so I would imagine it is limited only by the NVMe disk speed. My CF Express reader is only USB 3.1, which is at 10 gigabit speed, or approximately 1.25 gigabytes, so I can't test any higher than that. But you can see the card speed is basically maxing out the 10 gigabit connection speed of the reader. I left the camera recording 8K RAW to the card and it reached the full 30 minutes max record time with no problem. The card does get quite hot but I'm pretty sure that would be the same for any other card. I've been using mine for several months now and not had any issues at all. But I'm mainly just taking stills and the occasional video and I'm not doing any high volume work like weddings or event photography or videography. So I'm very happy with my cheap 2TB card. I had actually purchased a much larger CF Express to full size NVMe adapter, which has to stick out of the camera before I realized these small CF Express to 
M2 drive adapters existed. So the large adapter that I bought has gone unused despite being much more expensive. If you're wondering about cheap options for Type A CF Express cards, unfortunately those cards are smaller than the M.2 form factor and so it's not possible to get a DIY solution like you can for Type B cards. I have seen some card adapters that adapt it to an external full-size NVMe drive, but these are expensive and reviews of them don't seem that great.